we are going to look at a problem involving slope uncertainty. First, if I go to the doctor and they say that my height is between 1.3 and 1.5 meters, well, this is the minimum value my height could be. This is the maximum value my height could be. So there's some range of values within which my height lies. So what would you say is my height if you had to write it down? You would probably choose the central value. And as the uncertainty, you would say 0 0.1, because that's how much you have to add or subtract to get back to these extremes. We just used two formulas. The first formula we used was my height equals the average of the max and the min. Because if I plug in the 1.5 and 1.3, I get 2.8 on top, which when divided by 2 is 1.4. The other equation that I just used to get to this uncertainty is the half range method. This value, these values from 1.3 to 1.5 spans a range of 0.2. So the uncertainty is half the range. Mathematically, what's the equation? We say the uncertainty in height is the range, the difference between them, divided by 2. And if we put that into practice, you would get plus or minus 0.1 meters. So these are the equations that we can use when we have the max value and the min value, and it applies not only to this scenario, but also to the slope and y-intercept. So here's an example. A student conducts an experiment and collects the data shown below. Part A below says, draw a line of best fit. Okay, here's my line goes through the data points and it sure looks like it goes through 0, 0 through the origin. Okay, check. I am done. On to part B. Using the graph, calculate the gradient and its uncertainty. To get the gradient, you might be tempted to find two data points on this line, trace to get their coordinates, and then use the slope formula to find the answer. That would work, but there's an easier way. First, I'm going to draw the steepest line that I can through all of the data points. I'll make it red. So the steepest line that still goes through those error bars is maybe this. Now I'm going to draw the shallowest line that I can through all the data points. So the shallowest line may be something like this. I extrapolate these back to the y-axis so that I have the y-intercepts. Instead of finding that green slope, I'm going to find the minimum slope of the blue line, the maximum slope of the red line, and then I'll average them just like I did with my height. To get the uncertainty, I'll find how much range or spread is between these two, and I'll cut it in half just like I did with my height. I'll start with the max slope. I find two data points and I get their coordinates. That's 11.2, 8.6, and I'll use this one. Then I do the same thing for the blue line. I choose two data points, I get the coordinates, and I repeat for a second data point. Now I'm going to find the maximum slope and the minimum slope from the formula and from my data points. The slope formula gives 0.875. I repeat the procedure for the minimum gradient and I get 0.604. Now that I have my two values, the max and min, I can find the average and use that as an estimate for the green line gradient. So I add the two together and I divide by two to get 0.74. To find the uncertainty, the absolute uncertainty, in the gradient, I find the range, so the difference that they span, 
and I divide that by 2 to get plus or minus 0 0.1. Notice that I've rounded my uncertainty to one sig fig, and now I have to round the gradient to the same place. So my final answer is the gradient is 0 0.7 plus or minus 0.1. As units for the gradient, part C, I do y units over x units, that's seconds over kilograms, or as IB would have us write it, seconds, kilograms to the negative one.